I shot the first take in English and I gotta tell you it is making me sweat <laughs> it's uh, much harder than in Russian stop squeaking hi everybody uh, my name is Viktor Shin I work at Bulk Carriers PEI uh, it's a Canadian Atlantic province and uh, I heard a couple times that unfortunately my language of my videos are in Russian and most of the people like they like the footage they like the video itself but they don't understand nothing <laughs> that's for sure it's not my late native language English and uh, I will be much more uncomfortable speaking in English but I know I can and uh, it's kind of it will be benefit to me to practice more so I am like deciding to do a challenge like that so I will film both versions in Russian and at the same time in English. And we will see how it goes. If it's gonna be too hard for me, maybe I will drop it, I don't know. But for now, as I think about it more and more, uh, I think it's gonna be like beneficial for both parties, for me and for you guys who like can watch my videos in English and uh, for those guys from former Soviet Union who speaks in Russian uh, hearing my Russian accent in English they will I think they will probably be able to understand more than native English speakers so let's do that let's try that so uh, it's a first attempt and uh, it's gonna be messy sorry about my English but I will practice and I am I promise you I will be better so right now I'm at the, our truck wash at Balkiris and uh, hooking up to trailer 195135 uh, and bringing it to Cavendish Farms. It's uh, 40 minutes driving from here. I was told to drop this empty cling at Cavendish Farms. It's our shipper and hook up to another one trailer over there. It supposedly should be already loaded hook it up uh, and bring it to New Jersey, Elizabeth, New Jersey, company Sifrigo, it's our regular customer and it's gonna be french fries. So it's our 41 foot marker and uh, in Atlantic Canada we cannot go any further over there. So it was over there and I moved it here. It's not, pins are not out yet so I will just need to uh, pull a bit more forward and it should be okay. Right after our truck wash, there is a road construction. So it's a bit, it's a small, small, tiny traffic jam. Anyway, I'm still hoping that my trailer at Cavendish Farms is gonna be loaded and just switch the trailer and go on the road. I will not be able to do the COVID test before I leave the island. Uh, I got tested maybe five days or six days ago, something like that, maybe even one week. And uh, we're supposed to do testing every week, every seven days. And uh, I think 17 days is a maximum like period between testing. If you don't follow this rule, you will have to self-isolate once you came back from the trip. While you are waiting your negative COVID test results, you're supposed to self-isolate. Don't you are like not able to go home. On my previous trip, I did full 36 hours restart at US. There was no reload from US to Canada, and uh, I was at Seafrigo, the same customer I'm going to. 36 full hours and only after that I started to next pickup. So I got left 37 hours yesterday on my weekly 7, 7, 0, 7 70 from my 70 hours weekly and uh, it's quite a lot and it's like enough to go to US and get back to Canada 
and uh, continue in Canada on the recap. So that's my plan for now. And uh, one thing I need to follow that I have to get back to the island, like home, uh, before October 21st, 1 p.m. I have an appointment to dentist, which we were waiting like for uh, more than a month. So I don't want to blow it up. So it is possible completely if uh, there won't be any like big delays in the reloads. So my delivery appointment at Cifrigo is October 17 at 9 a.m. I will get there uh, late night, October 16. And uh, next morning I will be already empty, that's for sure. So if they will able if they will be able to find a reload for me like next day uh, and uh, preferably through Montreal I will be at home I think so uh, but there is a possibility that something will go wrong and uh, I will get stuck somewhere and uh, I will lose my appointment time but anyway I decided to go uh, I spent one night at home like 11 hours probably no maybe less but I feel so fresh now like like I made full 36 hours restart I sur I'm surprised like it's uh, way more refreshing to sleep at home <laughs> and have a shower uh, than sleep at the truck even at the truck stop with a shower completely two different things Cavendish okay, farms they are very picky about their personal protective equipment you have to have helmet safety glass, uh, safety vest, and safety shoes as well. Yeah, so unfortunately my load is not loaded, so I will be live loading with that trailer that I have. So opening the doors, they already gave a door for me, have a door for me, number three. It's gonna be long, usually it takes like about four, four hours. It's already a sunset, just leaving. Anyway, I would have to go at least to Woodstock even further I don't know we'll see how it goes if I feel okay I will cross the border and uh, drive like about an hour and I forgot to say that the loading took uh, three and a half hours not so bad but definitely not good <laughs> in the sunset here. This is Shell Woodstock, uh, I already filled, so it's total 600 miles from here to delivery Sifrigo and um, it's possible to get there like in one shift tomorrow but I actually decided to go another uh, 75 miles so just to make spare, some spare room for tomorrow driving and uh, driving not in a rush so yeah another hour and a half driving and sleep at the midway rest area it is 10 a.m already so i'm gonna get started soon i'm planning to stop by at walmart in new hampshire and maybe for a shower somewhere and then late evening today I will be at my receiver.
it's gonna be snowy soon and wet so I need to buy shoes the one which easy to get in and out like convenient for the truck because you have to frequently take on and off the shoes so I'm thinking about these ones it's only $17 no extra taxes because it's New Hampshire Oops. so it's a good option I like bought already two of them last year I lost them left them on the stair outside the truck and drive away and lost them on the road It's only 10 p.m. I'm already at receiver, checked in and got the door already. Awesome. This time they work at night, I don't know why, only till 3 a.m. So before I came here and they work since uh, 6 a.m. and didn't work through the night, I don't know why. So anyway, I'm on the door, once empty I will park here, relax and sleep and um, hoping that tomorrow I will get the load back to Canada. Today I sent a text message to Arsh just to remind that uh, I will be empty tomorrow morning, ready to go and uh, please give me something, preferably through Montreal, so, so it will be quicker. Please get me home till October 21st. That's what I sent him. He said, okay. But it's just the word, okay, <laughs> we'll see how it goes tomorrow morning. It's 9.30 in the morning, so I got the load and it's like two hours driving from here, also in New Jersey, close to Atlantic City and the load goes to Ontario 1. Uh, I didn't film anything, I was in a quite rush. I renewed the coating on my windshield, rain -X coating, like anti-water repellent. Uh, it helps a lot and it was a nightmare driving yesterday through the rain without it. And uh, I also need to sweep my trailer like really fast, not, not too much clean but uh, so one so anybody won't bother about it so it's only two minutes left for pre-trip and I'm ready to go Artur recommended me this stuff it works great like awesome I love it it's uh, pretty easy to use and this bottle like ten dollars easy checked in and this is how their dogs look like Only seven pallets. I didn't even know. My load officer says it's full load. Two load bars. I think that's enough.
October 18, 11 a.m. I'm like 40 minutes away from Buffalo, from the border to Canada, and uh, I was not able to cross yesterday because of the parts. It wasn't ready. So even though I called them to the broker and asked them to force it, they promised me they will do it, but no. Uh, so when I came here last night, I had like hour and a half of shift remaining and the uh, parts usually get processed at least two hours so when I realized that it's not in the system yet there was no point to wait I, I came to the pilot uh, or flying jet I'm not sure part overnight in the morning it was still not in the system I called them again and this time somebody like uh, <laughs> probably I got to somebody useful promised me to do that and like in 20 minutes the bus was already in the system but anyway Canada border like they took about hour hour and a half to process it and I just got the message from my dispatch that parse is ready to cross so I'm like three hours away from the delivery maybe less and delivery appointment is only uh, tomorrow at 5 a.m. So I'm hoping that I will be able to get to Mississauga somewhere there, drop my trailer, get something from there and continue going. Or I will have to do that delivery tomorrow morning. That means I will have to stay at Kansaini for like at least 12 hours. We'll see. <laughs> from here from Ontario for today and the uh, dispatcher told me that I will have to do my delivery tomorrow morning I got almost full day here and in, in Toronto right now I'm parked at Mississauga somewhere near Walmart and uh, I will go for a walk to a park then I will go to the truck stop at Mississauga take a shower there and for overnight parking I will go to Costco for my delivery and uh, tomorrow morning I will have full shift and ready to work that's the plan
Edward Rands, Prince Edward Island. First time I see such company. I'm already at Flying J at Mississauga. I have parked on reserved space, but I'm not gonna spend the night here, so I don't have to pay. Just waiting for my line in the shower, and then I will leave. It is almost 7 a.m. I'm at Costco, already got the door, and it's already a red light, so they are starting right now. Usually it's uh, really fast unloading here, so I'm gonna call to the office right now and ask them if they have something for me. Usually I don't call to the office, I just wait for the message to come. But uh, this time I need to tell all the info for another dispatcher. We have like different dispatchers working to different directions and from different directions. So from Ontario it's a completely different dispatch. And uh, I told him that I need to get home before October 21st, if it's possible. <laughs> Uh, he told me they have a lot for me today, so I'll be okay. Perfect. I'm empty and I got the load info. It's from Canadian Tire. Here, like 20 minutes driving and goes to Charlottetown. Here I have to find my trailer. It's not gonna be a bulk trailer. I think it's a can, the orange one. 817053. Okay. I was told it uh, on EN02. Our trailer, but not mine. Containers. It was pretty tricky to get this one over there. And uh, this one is lower, but it's broken. There's no click. Last one in the place. Good to go. This is Shell again, Edmonton. It's 8 a.m. and I'm I'm like six, maybe seven hours away from the island. And uh, if everything goes well, I will do the testing on the entrance. So I will be free for tomorrow. Right side, one plucker is ripping off. I have a spare one. I made a second layer. It's not so pretty, but it's okay. dangerous goods when you cross the bridge you have to call it's this is the exit of 47 and you have to go in there there is a phone you just pick it up and direct connection to the bridge and uh, you have to give them your information or dispatch can give them in advance 
information about you about your like uh, the lot and uh, they will let you know when you're good to cross so right now he said that somebody is crossing right now with the dangerous goods and after him i will go he will tell me in the loudspeaker it's 2 p.m i'm already on the island just got tested so it's good and the only thing my appointment to dentist was rescheduled for day after tomorrow not tomorrow they, they said they need my result before i can come to them i mean the result for the covid testing so uh, today i get tested and tomorrow will be result should be it's usually like that only one day so day after tomorrow at 10 a.m i'm going to dentist anyway it's okay not bad because i will have full day tomorrow to to do what i plan to is to do with my car i hope to film that and uh, i think that's it this trip is done my first vlog in english officially done